What is the next number in this sequence? 1, 5, 12, 22, 35. A similar sequence can help us make sense of this one. 1, 3, 6, 10. We can represent these numbers in a triangle, so it makes sense that they're called the triangular numbers. There's a formula that can help us find any triangular number. In general, the nth triangular number is n times n plus 1 over 2. There's a similar trick for our original sequence. If we represent them visually, we can see that they can form pentagons. Unsurprisingly, they're called the pentagonal numbers. Each pentagonal number is the sum of three triangular numbers. The fifth pentagonal number is composed of the fifth triangular number and the fourth triangular number times two. We can use the formula from before to find these numbers. Cancel out the twos on the bottom to simplify things. Then we can add these together to find the answer, 35, which is just what we expected. We can use this pattern to find the next number in the sequence as well, which is the sixth pentagonal number. The sixth pentagonal number is composed of the sixth triangular number and the fifth triangular number times two. Again, using the formula from before, we can find these numbers and add them up to find the answer, 51. This pattern can be used to find the nth pentagonal number, whichever one we want. It's composed of the nth triangular number and the n minus one triangular number times two, which looks like this if you write out the formulas. Now let's use this pattern to quickly find the 10th pentagonal number. Just substitute the n with 10, and you'll get the answer, 145. Now that we know about pentagonal numbers, we're ready to look at centered hexagonal numbers. These begin with 1, 7, 19, 37. As you might expect, we can visually represent them with hexagons. What is the sixth centered hexagonal number? Triangles are useful here too. Discover more visual tricks at brilliant.org.